Web hosting is just annoying. I mean, we're talking about having to choose between hundreds of different plans with different resources, committing to that choice by prepaying for two, three, or four years in advance, and then setting it all up just for your website to go down in like two months time because you actually started to get people on your site and now you need to upgrade and do all of it again. Wouldn't it be cool if you could just get one pay-as-you-go plan for any website and it would automatically scale up or down based on the amount of visitors you're getting. So if you're getting five customers, it works at 1% capacity, saving you money. And if you launch an ad campaign and get 30,000 customers in one hour, it automatically ups the amount of resources it uses to continue working just fine with no upgrades, no switching plans, no configuration, support, or IT department needed. Yeah, that would be cool. And it exists. Just last week, Cloudways launched their autonomous web hosting plans that do just that. You get unlimited CPU and RAM power with all of the plans, and you only pay for how many visitors you're getting and for disk space. And I wanted to test out this so-called unlimited power. So I got a bunch of bots to basically spam my website and I tested it if it goes down. To be more precise, I've recorded a set of commands for virtual machines to replicate, like visiting the product page, adding a product to the cart, visiting the checkout page, and so on. Basically the important e-commerce stuff that has a lot of interaction with the database. And then I sent 50 virtual users to perform these tasks for five minutes. My website passed all tests and worked fine. With 50 users, that's chump change. Let's ramp it up to a thousand users and see how Cloudways likes it then. So again, the exact same thing, just this time I'll start with zero users and ramp it up to a thousand users for 20 minutes straight instead of five minutes. So see you in 20 minutes. Okay. So my website did start to throw errors two times during the test, but it normalized within seconds. I believe this is when the auto scaling kicked in. As you can see here, the error spikes happened in the steepest part of the user growth and quickly stabilized as if the server just got more power. So this auto scaling feature is pretty neat, but I had the website up and running for a couple of days now and you can definitely see my testing spike using up to 2.2 gigabytes of bandwidth of the allocated 800 gigabytes in just 25 minutes of testing. So with large user counts, you definitely burn through this limit very fast and then you pay $1 per every thousand users above your limit. So even though you're getting unlimited resources, since you're paying for visits and customers, you burn through that rate really quick if you're getting substantial traffic. Of course, the concept of auto scaling isn't new by itself. Like AWS has it, but it's kind of complicated to set it up because you decide the conditions yourself. Hostinger also has it, but they don't go unlimited. It's only two times resources for 24 hours. Nexus also has it, but they charge you $6 an hour if you go over your limits, which is kind of a lot. What Cloudways did here is easy to use. You literally don't need to do anything. It's not gonna make you go bankrupt if you go overboard and it's not 24 hours only, it's permanent. By the way, talking about doing nothing, I kinda skipped over the part where I created my e-commerce store, but the server setup was almost instant and also completely automatic. All you have to do is choose your plan, name your website, choose your region, and if you want WordPress or WordPress together with WooCommerce installed, that's it. Everything else is pre-configured in less than five minutes. My server is up and running. Caching and Cloudflare CDNs are already set up, increasing the website speed substantially. And for security, we have DDoS protection as well as a firewall. So I very much like the fact that it is automatic. What I don't like, however, is the fact that it's all automatic. Let me explain. I have absolutely zero control over this server. It's like one of those new cars with a touchscreen instead of a dashboard buttons and everything is electronic. If it works, it works great. 
If something breaks, however, you have absolutely no way to fix it yourself and you're forced to rely on third-party support. Like here, I tried connecting a domain. Should be easy, right? Just put these CNAME records into my DNS records with Hostinger and wait a bit. Nope. For some reason, it didn't work. I had my suspicions why, but I couldn't do anything about it. So I waited 24 hours. Maybe it was just a bug. Nope. 24 hours later, my domain still doesn't work. And at this point, Cloudways sent me 30 emails. Yeah, 30 saying that it doesn't work. So I contact their support, I explain the situation, and the guy goes, oh, this isn't a Cloudways problem, it's a Hostinger problem since that's where you got your domain. At this point, I 100% know that either he's incompetent on, or he's lying, but I play along. I contact Hostinger support, explain the situation, present the evidence, and they go like, <laughs> yeah, this is a thousand percent a Cloudways issue, not a Hostinger one. So that's another day gone. It's been 48 hours at this point. I go back to Cloudways and go like, bruh, you sent me to Hostinger and they sent me back to you. I have all this evidence that it is in fact an issue on your side. What are we gonna do about it? Then the support agent finally caves in. He understands that the current CNA method is not cutting it and just gives me an IP address or an A record to use that's not visible on my dashboard anywhere else. I had to contact support for this information. I put that in, now I have to wait again for it to take effect. 20 minutes later, still nothing. The support agent goes like, well, okay, now you have to remove more records because our automatic installation of Cloudflare doesn't work with these records. And from the get-go, I knew it was a Cloudflare problem, but as you can see here, I have no access to the Cloudflare account that my Cloudways account is associated with. I can't manage which records get picked up after I delete the records. It still doesn't work. I get a 404 error. So I had to wait more time for the automatic system to pick up the errors and fix it. In total, a three minute job that I could have done myself if it wasn't all automatic, or I could just have disabled Cloudflare if they let me, took me three days to resolve. And I noticed that stuff doesn't work kinda often with this automatic plan. For example, here I have no file manager. I literally can't view the files of my website from this control panel. I need to use SSH, which works fine, but isn't fast or convenient to use, and my FTP access, just doesn't work completely. I would again need to contact the support and work through the issues, but at this point I just can't be bothered. Now if you're talking about speed and raw performance, it's fine, but it's only fine. 2.2 seconds to fully load a site and a 140 milliseconds server response time. The response time? Superb. Mwah. Chef's kiss. But the 2.2 seconds full load time is not great or amazing. It's just fine. Barely. Considering providers like A2 Hosting or Scala Hosting load the exact same site in less than one second with their default configurations and Lightspeed Cache enabled. But on the bright side, Cloudways Autonomous does give you unlimited PHP workers. This means your e-commerce site, once fully loaded, will process orders faster, no matter how many visitors you have at the same time, because most providers have 5 or 10 PHP workers dedicated to you, and this severely limits the number of actions that a website can process at any given millisecond. So taking all of this into consideration, it's definitely not the one plan fits all scenario that I had in mind when going into this video, but it's still extremely useful in some specific cases. For example, event websites where you get no traffic except for the periods when you're hosting an event. Or e-commerce stores that heavily rely on bursts of visitors like ticket vendors or seasonal shops. Or even if you're an influencer, usually when you start out, you get absolutely no traffic, but then a video or a post pops off and you get thousands of people rushing to your website and that's when you need for it to be online and that's what Cloudway is gonna give you that no other web hosting plan can, unless you're grossly overpaying 
Now, I would say that power-wise, these plans are very middle of the road. But since you do get an unlimited amount of this mid-tier resources, your site will stay in the good range at all times. If you have absolutely no clue what you're doing and every site you make ends up being slow, being in the good range is great. However, to anyone that has extensive web hosting knowledge and experience, these plans are definitely a no-go. Because you will lose your mind not being able to change the configuration, restart your server, and go into the advanced settings. For that, use Cloudways flexible plans that are still a very good deal. You can find everything you need to know about them in this video right here. Anyways, good luck creating your websites, and I'll see you around.